Hey everybody, good to see you. I'm here on, on Thursday. We have another Facebook Live. I was gonna do another project, but then I just was so excited about what we did last time. I wanted to keep going on this trend of using Big Shot as a flower press. So I went out in my yard today and I collected more uh, greenery, mostly greenery. I didn't find that many more flowers, but we could try the uh, cone flowers because we haven't done that, if I remember. Hi, Charlotta. How are you today? Oh, I like that you put a little little flower there. Hi, Jan. So um, yesterday was uh, a crazy day. We had the Sizzix virtual trade show. So I got that done in the morning. And then I went and got my implant in my mouth for finally. I've been in the process of doing this for a couple of years. So anyway, here it is. <laughs> but I feel like it's too high. Anyway, yes, I feel better today. Thank you. Hi, Frederica. And I saw Leslie. Oh, there's Tanya. Okay. Hi, Kathleen. Good to see you. Lori, how are you? Yeah, today we're going to announce our winners. I picked them and I have your names on the uh, dies. So that's good. Hi, Barbara. Are you back for more? Chomp, chomp. Yeah, I know. It It's crazy. It feels weird. Like, what is that big thing? It looks like teeth. It is. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hi, Linda. Hi, Glum. Angie, how are you? Yeah. Oh, there's Tony. He was on our virtual event. Thanks for asking your questions, Tony. It made it sound like, uh, you know, I, I knew somebody. <laughs> so, uh, hi, Linda. So today what we're going to do, I went and got a big bunch of more leaves, mainly, um, and I made a couple discoveries, hi Bambi and Jan, of uh, some things that I hadn't realized that came out of our last session. So I want to show you how those work, and it was kind of cool. And I also found some new materials I want to try, and also some, um, the luster wax. We got the luster wax back in, if anybody is interested. I've got, I think, eight of, well, maybe it's less than that now, but they're um, yeah, it was exciting. Hi, Violet and Allison. So we have more of the Luster Wax. I want to try it on one of the leaves that actually, look at this. This is one that I pressed the other day. Hi, Kelly. And you can't feel it, but it's very paper-like. It feels like it was dried. And so I think running it through the machine squeezed out the the wetness and we basically have in one day a dried leaf so I wanted I thought it would be really pretty if we put some of that luster wax on it and just kind of painted that on the front of a book or something so that's that um, I have something from one of my team members that I want to show you you know I think you could probably could die cut it Leslie but it's very brittle so I'm not sure how that would work. It might. I mean, it's not like I couldn't try it with a bigger one. Oh, hey, Linda. Oh, she's on. Okay, Linda went out and got more uh, more flowers. That's great. Oh, hi, Crafty Violet. Uh, you could use the leaf as a stamp. That would be cool. Yeah, that would be. Because look at that. You would see all of the veins and everything. Your new dyes are... Oh, good. Yeah, I mean, I think... I don't know. It's the texture of it that I really like. And I think it's almost like a napkin. It's that fine. Hey, Alice. <laughs> How are you doing? All right. So um, I'm going to wait a little bit until we get everybody in the group here to announce the winners. Oh, something kind of cool happened yesterday. Uh, Tony was there. Oh, hey, there's Lori. Hi. <laughs> <coughs> only a little cough today. So I was on this virtual trade show um, chat where they showed a video of what I had made of the new chapter three and four dies. And, um, oh, good, Shirley. Good. Well, we're going to do some more. Anyway, I put it out there that I would like to go teach. So today I get an email from a store called Marco's Paper in Ohio and she called to see if I wanted to come and teach and actually it's in 
the first week in August. So I don't know if anybody lives near Marcos or is in, even in Ohio. I don't know where it is. I have to look on the map. But we had a lovely chat, and um, I think I'm going to go out and teach a couple classes. So I will get that information to you when I get the details all figured out. But we're going to be doing probably a journal and maybe a truck and camper set. So uh, that's going to be a class. So I have to make them up. <laughs> So um, I think let's get started because there's a lot of stuff. Also, I want to thank everybody. Oh, you know Marco? Oh, good. Um, I wanted to thank everybody who gave tips for the next... Oh, hey, Jackie. Uh, but they gave tips for like um, things that we could try, like paper towels. Like what if you paper put a paper towel on? and see if that would absorb some of the fluid that came out of the leaf. That's a great idea. So I have some paper towels. I also have watercolor paper. I thought maybe the, uh, the um, surfaces might work. Even with like a thick leaf like the holly, this one I thought was just so pretty. These leaves, I love the shape of them. And I hope that's not some poisonous thing. I don't think it is, but I don't know what we have all out in the yard, but... Uh, you know, and this one, look at this. It's a weed, I think, but look at how beautiful that is. It's so perfect. I don't even know what weed it is. It was in with my um, lavender, which I also picked. And this is weird. I picked three stalks of lavender. One of them totally wilted on the way into the house, and the two others are fine. I don't know how that happened, but um, anyway, let's get going on this and see what, what we're going to do here. So the first thing I want to do is show you a couple of samples from Lisa Hole, um, uh, because they, I think they got here too late or I don't know. I, we didn't really go through it and look at it, but this journal is really cool. What she did. I saw it was on the blog, but we haven't looked at it, um, in person. So let's just do that. So I'm going to turn the camera down. You use tissue paper from your husband's new shoes packaging. That's great. I was thinking about that or like um, vellum. I was wondering how that would work because that would not absorb anything, but it might impress it. So, you know, many more exper experiments to go. Um, this is going to have to be pretty quick because I have to go pick up my husband at the airport. But um, let's do this and see what happens. All right. Okay, let me turn the camera around. Oh, ah, sorry. Jumped out of my hand. Hi, Mitziana. All right. So this is what I wanted to show you. This is a really cool journal from Lisa Hall. And it's like a night and day nature album. Look at this. It's the uh, pocket, or yeah, pocket notebook. No, yeah. Is that what it? Yeah, pocket notebook. <laughs> and she used the uh, frame from the trinket box. And so she decorated the front with all of the nature, mostly a lot of like butterflies and I think a lot of butterflies. So she used a lot of my older dyes. And this is what I love. All these little peekaboo flaps. So like, look at that. Can you guys see that? Wait, let me get on here and make sure I can see what you're saying. That'll be good. Totally forgot. There we go. Little oh, I forgot to turn that off. Okay. Yes, I see the video. All right. Okay, there you are. Yeah, this is cool. Oh, there's Mitziana, okay. Yeah, so look at these, all the little things about the birds. And then it just, like, blends in, you know? I don't want to wreck that. But they'll have, like, little pockets. Look at that. The bee, so bees, flowers, nature, you know? What a cool little journal. That is just so pretty. And all these fun images. And then there's another little, so you just kind of turn them. And the, the, um turner thing there and so you got a quote and then another kind of looks like an airplane <laughs> with 
which they feel like sometimes when you get those big bugs coming at you. I can't do this. Anyway, I like that she deckled the edges too. They're really pretty. Yeah, and look at that little bird. Oh, there's so many fun things in here. Look what she used. Just a little strand of like floss or like a twine or something. Just And then to echo that up there. Amazing. So there's this, and these each have their little, look at that, matched her ladybug with ladybug. But wait, I don't know, I lived beneath the open skin. And there's another ladybug, ladybug beetle. I didn't know that was a beetle. Anyway, all right, so there's this side, and then you flip it, and it goes to night. So she did everything in like a night theme. And this is like a Luna moth, you know, and all of spiders, <laughs> whatever comes out at night. The fox, that's nocturnal. That's creepy. Have you guys heard one of them? They sound like a little baby crying or being murdered. We didn't know what it was when we moved here. Look at that, even with the cool little moon here. Bats, and these have the little turns and um, fairies, really neat. Yeah, look at that little brown bat. I love this. It was so much fun to look through, and it's educational. I mean, yeah, another kind of moth. Here's uh, the great horned owl. Oh, that must go in there. I wonder what she used. These are nice and thick. Maybe she had like a, a encyclopedia page, and then she backed it with cardstock because it's, oh, and them toadstools. Owl, just so cool. What is this? Ooh, noctuid moths. They must be ones that come out at night. So anyway, I just wanted to show you this because I just thought it was really cool. And we hadn't really looked at this, you know, in depth. So thank you, Lisa. I just wanted to give you a shout out because this is an amazing book. And... I love the idea of using the cover as another, um, you know, to put two together. So what if you had twins? Wouldn't that be a great way? You know, Jack and Jill, whoever, <laughs> do their album in the same book. Anyway. All right, here's another one. Lisa is amazing. I know. Now, this is another one she did. Look at this cool background. And, you know, I could do this with everyone on the team, but these were two that I realized I don't think I had looked through. Um, because something happened in the shipping that, you know, we didn't, we didn't get to see this, but she used all of this cool, um, inks and it, it just looks really watery. And then she made these cute little cards to go inside the folio. This is a folio journal and she used these as little pockets and look at how perfectly these fit. Isn't that amazing? You never get things to fit like that. So anyway, thank you, Lisa, for all of your inspiration. And thank you, all of the team, for everything that you do every week. We have a new post up again today, or was it yesterday? It's beautiful. It's amazing. Um, these guys are just the best, what can I say? So, all right. So here is what we have. This is from the yard today. And I did have one thing that I was very sad about. And that was, I had found this, um, <laughs> it's like an evergreen. And I thought, oh, I need to press that in this new book that I got, which, let me show you this. I may have shown you already, but I love it even more. This is something that I got at the book uh, sale at church when I was on vacation. And look at these. Look at how cool this is. This is like a giant, they have like the word <clears throat> is all big and there's not a lot of them. I mean, it's not a lot of uh, vocabulary in here. You know, it's not all full of these, but look at that. Even like the whole thing is just neat. It's got like these going down the side and then back here. Oh, this is one, look at this. Maryland State House, Annapolis. Look who the governor was. Spiro Agnew. That was a couple of years ago. This was, uh, I think it said, oh, no, I guess not, but that was uh, quite a while ago. I thought it did have a date. I don't know. Anyway, 
uh, also, I really liked they had this bookmark in here, which gave me an idea. You know, look at this. They just stitched three pieces of ribbon together, and then you can use your bookmark in three different, you know, to th hold your place in three different places. And so let's see what else is in here. This is pretty much the... Look at this. Asbestos. You want to know about that, right? Hey, Brenda. I know. Look at this. The old army uniforms, the insignias, anatomy, architecture, military aircraft, everything that you might possibly need. Bowling. <laughs> That's right in there. Um, just cool old illustrations. Deaf and dumb alphabet. Wow. That would never make it now. Dances of many lands. That is, wow. Huh. All right. Well, breeds of dogs. All of these are just really fun to look through. I didn't even see them all, really. Locomotives. That'd be pretty to frame if you knew somebody that was a model train fan, like my husband. The making of paper. So anyway, I love looking through these old books because tea, you know, you never know how to swim. Who knew? And look at this, even in color. Isn't that pretty? The butterflies and moths. I bet Lisa wished she had this when I, you know, American game fish. Look at that, the sailfish um, birds. This is kind of blurry, though. That's not a very good print. Ooh. Um, that's cool. So, you know, you could use these in journals. I probably wouldn't. I mean, I wouldn't want to cut them out. But, and then these are synonyms. So these are, I haven't looked back here that much. But I'm sure it's full of cool, cool stuff. However, I did pull out a couple pages in general information. And I thought, let me try my little fur. My, it's not a fern. It's an evergreen, like a cedar branch. It was horrible. It just squished and did nothing. So I was very disappointed. But um, it made me look at my book again, and I like that. So maybe if I had put a paper towel around it, I still don't think that would have mattered. It just was too wet. So, you know, you have to think about that. But um, so here is, let's just start off with this, because this is that piece that I was telling you about. So let's just very carefully try some wax on it and see what happens. And I'm just going to do that very, oh, how will I do that? Maybe with my little brush here. And just so you know, I do have, I, th I told you that, I have more of this stuff. I love this. All right, I'm just going to put a little bit and just see what happens because I think oh look at that it wow it feels like paper oh that's neat I don't think I have enough I really feel like though I could tear it it probably could use a little more curing but I don't know that kind of just gives you a little interest on here and it brings out these these, uh, what do you call those? Veins. It's just so delicate. Anyway, that would be really pretty in the fall, wouldn't it? To just do something like that on the cover of a book. I love that. So, all right, so that's something. You can use your luster waxes. All right, um, the other thing I was thinking was, why not just take some of these little branches because they do dry if you don't <laughs> run them through your big shot they will dry out and they make they last a while and then you could mix them in with your paper little trees you know wouldn't that be cute and you could do that in any of these and then you know if say you wanted to use it as a um, place card or something or a little favor box you know just tuck some greens in there that always looks good I like having organic things that just makes it look fresher and uh, smell good usually and you know, here's Tanya's truck. Wouldn't that be cute with some flowers sticking out? But I would want to protect this. Maybe a little Ziploc bag or something or, you know, something like one of those things that you get when you get roses and you put the stem in. Anyway, uh, your coral bills squish too. Uh, all right. Well, 
Use the wax, then stamp with one of your new stamps. Use the wax. Oh! Ooh. Hmm. Yeah. Photo cup. Yeah, I thought about that, too. Because some of those, the pages, oh, there were a couple words. I was like, I would do it just to get that word. I would photocopy that page because my sisters would appreciate it, but I don't know if anybody else would. So, all right. So let's squish some more stuff. But that, I think, is a success. I like that. And I just wish you could feel it. Now, the bugs are not a good bonus. That was either a bug or a string from... The glue gun, let's call it the string from the glue gun, because I don't want to think about that. But I'll tell you what I really want to squish is this. Isn't that just the most delicate, pretty little thing? Look at these teeny, tiny little... So you, I think you would just have to make sure to get it flat. So let's do that. So that's really... I'm dying to do that. And... I wanted to make a tiny book out of this, and I can't find my die. It's around here somewhere, but I am definitely going to make that into something because um, this to review is something we did yesterday. That was a hydrangea, and this actually might be the same leaf that I took off. I think it is. So, see, recycle. Squish out the water and... Um, this here is the journal that we made yesterday, and then I realized I also had this piece that's the latch, so, you know, that would work with it. I am going to finish this, and I am going to use it. I don't know what for, but I love that, and I want to use that. Um, okay, so here are a couple of the dies that you could, that's the one that I just showed you, that's the journal, and then... I, oh, I wanted to also do that long one. Let's do that first, because I have that one ready to go. Um, and then we'll do our announcement. Well, you know what? Before we get going, you ready? Should we do the announcement of the winners? All right. Are you guys ready? Yeah, there were lots of, lots of interesting pages. Okay, you squished it in the garage. <laughs> I hope nobody gets the wrong idea of this squishing thing, but I mean, it's fun. Okay, so let's go through our first winner, and this is for the release party blog hop and video. Um, if you commented on the blog hop on each of the designers' pages and told them what a great job they were doing, you get a prize. So our winner is Chasen Paper. You win the ornament box die. So if you're listening, please um, let me know. Just message me your mailing address, and I will send this out to you, okay? And then the next winner, this is somebody who commented on the um, video that we did, the release party video, and that is Jimmy Krieger. So Jimmy, you have won this die, and something that I was thinking was, if you already have it, just go on the um, my web my um, blah, Etsy page and see if there's something else that you want that's the same price. I'll send you that instead so you don't have duplicates. Oh, good. Darlene Henry, is that you? I didn't know who it was. Okay. All right. Well, congratulations. Yeah, I didn't know Chase and Paper. I, I couldn't find a name. So good. I'm glad you're there. Okay. All right. Okay. So just let me know and I will send it. I was going to give a truck, and I'm out, I, I'm really low on trucks, and I might need them to teach with, so I'm not going to send that. So, anyway, that's still a good price. Okay? All right. Something else that I wanted to tell you was, now, if you have a newer Big Shot, you would probably have this short set for the multi-purpose platform. It used to be all in one piece, okay? And you couldn't take this off. So now they have redone it so that you have this, uh, you know, the option of removing this piece and then just using that, which I like because this flopped and it was in the way and I just think that's a very good move. Sizzix, thank you for doing that. Um, but there was another point where this platform was came with the machine which would be handy I mean it really was long if you think the other one was long this was like I don't know 20 30 inches long when you put the whole thing out so you needed a big 
you know, area to cut in. But if you're trying to do a big flower like this, you know, it's nice to have this big long platform. That's all I want to say. So if you have it, that's good. Don't get rid of it. All right. Now I've have lavender pieces everywhere. All right. So let's go ahead and cut this. This is the journal die right here. Okay. And then we'll start squishing because I don't want to get it dirty. My plate's dirty, even though we'll use the long ones. All right. Let me get them here. So this has been, you know, cut and dried a while ago. So I guess what we want to do is figure out where we want the front of the book to go. It's not going to matter because the pattern is kind of everywhere. Uh, I kind of like that. But then there's more color here. So, you know, you just have to think about it. This is going to be the flap. So... It might be cool to have like more color on the flap folding over onto the front. So let's do that. I'm just going to flip it. And now this one is very close. So you just have to make sure that you cover both sides of the journal. This would also be pretty if you wanted to cover the back side with like some book pages and it would have the kind of a vintage look, I think. So Lots of ideas, of course. Not enough time to do them all, but that's the one you have, Brenda. All right, let's see. Now, this is my bad machine. I didn't clean it yet because I was still squishing. So I used my older machine. So I'm going to run this through, and let's see what we get. And this is a fun die. This is cool because this one will work, you know, with those little books that you get from Dollar Tree. And by the way, I saw that they came out with different colors of those little books. This is the die. So if you don't have it, this is a good classic journal die to get. And this one was made out of leather. It's just beautiful. Uh, but you can do a lot with this. So, wow, I was really close here. Look at that. Not much to spare, but let's see how it came out. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. All right, let's put this over here. So this is a really easy one to assemble. There's a lot of things you can do with it. You can use like a rolled binding. You can fold it so it's straight. So let's do that first. So what, what I do with this one is, say I want to have a thick spine with this flat, you know, like that. I'm going to fold over on this score line and that score line here. So let me do that. I'm just laying it on the edge of my table and I'm applying even pressure and just folding that so that I've got this nice little score. And then I'm going to do the same thing for my flap. I'm going to fold on that one and that one. So let's do that. Because you can always go and add in the rolled um, binding if you want to change it. So you can have a nice shape like that. Look at how that green just kind of blends in there. I think that's really cool. You also could make a little box out of this and leave your, you have your specimens in there, you know. Do a little accordion pleat on the side. Ah, lots of ideas for that. But like I said, if you wanted to kind of have a softer and then a, f a wider, let's do it so you see. I'm going to bend over on each of these score lines and look at the difference. You're going to have more room to, well, that wasn't a good. Okay, so see how it's now bent like that? And you're going to have more room to flatten your pages ah, can't seem to do this doesn't want to go with me all right maybe it feels neglected I haven't used this die in a while they have feelings too all right so now you can see it's flatter and kind of wider okay so that's another cool thing about this die, that you have the option. So I like that. I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I could have my whole collection of nature journals. Yeah, okay. You're <laughs> crafting 24-7. Yeah, that's you, Lisa. 
All right. Oh, wait a minute. We already have... Oop, there's some stuff in here I have to clean. Mm -mm. There's my paper towels. Let me give a little spritz in here. I don't want to wreck my machine. My Windex always at hand. So... I don't want to have any residue or anything getting on my finished projects, even though this is kind of my experimental machine where I do a lot of stuff with leather and ink and, you know, it just can get kind of crazy, but you have to explore. Okay. All right. Now we're ready. So let's squish that little thing. All right. Now, here are a couple materials. You guys tell me because I'm going to love this no matter what it is, just from the shape of this cute little flower petal leaf. I mean, even just like that, isn't that so pretty? Even if you just decoupaged it on there, but I mean, a card and then just a word, you know, and you could bend it if you wanted. All right. What do you think? Okay. Hey, Gina and Michelle, Barbara, Good to see you all. Okay, here's what I have. These are the choices. Should I do the silver? This is surfaces. I have the gold. I have the craft, which I'm not sure that would show up, but wow. Ooh, I do like that. And you could also kind of crinkle this up and make it look leathery and then put that on top. Might be too much. This is just regular cardstock. This is that um, page out of the book. White paper. Is that what you think? This is like a newsprint, which I thought, if you did it and folded it over, it might absorb any kind of um, leftover stuff. And if it didn't, it might get a double impression. So I don't know. All right, that. And then this is watercolor paper. So I'll wait a minute, and you can tell me what you want me to press. This adorable little... I don't know what that is. Weed. I mean... What should I do? Tell me, tell me. The only one I hear, heard from is Leslie, and she says white paper. And I could totally do that right on here. Or I could do the watercolor. It would stand out. You like the newsprint? You mean this newsprint, Darlene? Or do you mean this, like, newsprinty kind of paper? Watercolor paper cards. <laughs> oh, now everyone's telling me. Ah! Watercolor paper to absorb. Well, that's craft paper. Okay. Ah, I can't tell. It. Well, a lot of people are saying watercolor. Well, you know what? I have a couple of these. We can do a couple of them. And then the other one I want to do is this. You know, because look at those pretty leaves on there. All right. We have enough to play with. All right. Then I will the craft color, the plain newsprint. All right, let's do it on here because I kind of do wonder. I haven't tried it on here. What I'm going to do is just fold that over. And you can always cut it and, you know, trim it if you need a different size. Let me get this stuff out of the way. But we'll use something else. And we can do that same thing again, that same little leaf. All right, let me get my cutting pads. Now this won't matter if you use the scratchy ones, I don't think, but maybe they don't. It's all a mystery, and I love that for crafting. All right, follow your heart. Okay, now see, what did I do there? I don't know. Well, mm, stop moving. All right, I have like 10 minutes because my husband gets in at 4.38. I'm 12 minutes from the airport. <laughs> okay. By the time he gets his bag. Okay, here we go. I don't even know. This is not very thick, so maybe it won't do much. I really have no clue. Let's see. What do you guys think is going to happen? I, oh, well, there's something came through. Well, hmm. Hmm. That pressed on there, I'm kind of, well, got a little mushy there. Let's see what happens. Yeah, not a whole lot, but that's very delicate. Let's see. It's really 
not showing up too much. The stem I can see, and there are little outlines, but maybe with more pressure? I don't know. That's, nah, okay. Nah, not so great. Let's try this craft, because that, I have no idea what's going to happen there. Did I show you these new scissors? Aren't they pretty? <laughs> They're really nice. They cut very well. I like it because it's long and skinny, so I would probably have to trim this. Let me see where I put that other one. Here, it's another one. It's not quite as tiny, but wouldn't that be a neat bookmark? Just have to make sure. Now, maybe I want to press it that way. That might be a better way to go. All right, where am I? Let's see. I can, I think, yeah, there we go. All right. Okay. I don't know. It doesn't look very. Let's see. Maybe if we. Uh... Well, something came out. It is wet. Mm. Oh. Well, that's nice. Look at that. You can't really feel it. Well, you can feel an impression. I mean, but look at this. That really got squashed. That didn't help. I did it twice. <laughs> Poor little thing. Gave its life. All right. Well, that is cool. And that would make a nice bookmark. Just trim it off. Let's do it. While we're at it, no time like the present. I'll give it to my husband and say, oh, I missed you. I did. It was weird to be here by myself. In the pandemic, I've been here, you know, months, years. <laughs> All right, so I'm just kind of eyeballing. But what I wanted to say was, if anybody is uh, knows of a store that's kind of between Virginia and... Uh, Marco's paper, wherever that is in Ohio, let me know because I could stop off. I think what I want to do is make like a little point. Well, yeah, and then we, I would just punch a hole. You know, it'd be cute to do like little, I'm not going to torture you, but maybe I will. <laughs> I always love the fringe. And this stuff does not tear. This is the craft surfaces. And I think I have some of this. The thing that I like about it is if you crinkle it, it and then ink on top of it, it looks like leather. And it's very durable. Look at that. And I left my hole punch out at the beach, but guess what? I have this. I forgot. So, I'm not sure I remember how to do it. I think you just stick that in there. And then do like a cute little, you know, thread. And you've got a bookmark. All right, we have a finished project. Yay. All right, I'm going to clean this off because that stuff's going to come off on something we don't want it to, probably. I, that needs a good... All right, I got my Windex. So remember I said this is messy. Believe it. Yeah, bookmark done. Reader's Digest. <laughs> okay, so there's that. All right, what else do we want to try? Let's do these leaves, because I think they are just really pretty shape on them. And I think I'm just going to do the ones that are perfect in a bunch of different sizes and lay them out, maybe on the watercolor paper. And just do a collage. It's a good medium size. 
I'm just not going to overlap them because that's when you kind of run into problems. But now I'm, well, the watercolor paper will be a little bit thicker than that newsprint, but hmm, maybe I should fold that over too. Let's just fold this over. And if this turns out good, are the surfaces like craft text? Yes. That's what I think they're the same. I mean, I don't know if I'm supposed to say that, but to me it feels the same. I mean, the finishes are different. Some of them have the um, metallic and some are like there's white, gray, and the craft. So that's something that's different. I'm going to take these off because they always look ugly. And they kind of explode. And I don't know, maybe I'll put some that way and we can see which ones come out better. Ooh, that's a, got some kind of weird thing, like a spider web. Looks like we should have gotten some more little ones. Well, for the purpose of experimenting. Wait, let's see, maybe there's... go crazy. All right. I'm just gonna, and hopefully they don't move, but if they do, oh well. All right, one more. It's fun to try different things. Some did not turn out that well, yeah. Oh, Anna, yours were great. I loved how you did the before and after. Thanks for doing that. Oh, now something happened. What do you think? Is this going to be good or bad? Ooh, that's neat. They look like, can you see that? It kind of transferred. Hmm, I might try that again with like maybe another piece of paper. I'm going to put that on top. Let's just see what happens. Because you do have to... Uh, I'm not sure that's going to go through. Oh, that's pretty tight. Let's see. Chicken feet. <laughs> it did look like that. All right, this should do... I could definitely tell the tension was more. And I don't know what happened to this either. Oh, we already took them out, so nothing. All right, let's see. Well, that looks a little darker. Darker chicken feet. Yeah. Well, I actually, I would decoupage that because they're on there pretty well. And then you'd have two, you'd have a front and back cover for a journal if you wanted. And then you could kind of watercolor. I, I think that's a possible, you know, let's keep that idea. So, so far we like that little skinny one and this one. Now, here's another one. I think we did it yesterday, but we did not do the ivy. And I did want to try that because I don't think it's going to work. But it could. Let's do that on this gold. Because what I think that it would do is act as a, an impression because it, this is like thick and kind of waxy. So let's see what happens. It might ruin this. I don't know. And it really does need a stem, but I can't tell where the end is. I'll just stagger them. I have no idea what's going to happen here. But isn't that the fun of crafting? Who knows? It's always exciting. But if it did work, wouldn't that be fun for Christmas? Ooh. All right. Look at that! Oh, yeah. All right, that's a winner. And it did. This is wet, but you know what? Because this is like, oh, that might be the best thing of the day. Look at that. 
Oh, yes. It's kind of a weird shape. But if you looked for, like, perfect holly, I mean, these are nothing special, but, you know, or even looked for thicker waxy leaves. Look at that. That is amazing. I love that. Can you guys see that? Oh, yeah, that is a winner. Yep. Shut the front door, Tony. I know it. <laughs> oh, that makes me so happy. I'm going to think of that all day. <laughs> all right. Oh, now I want to do everything on gold. And here's the other cool thing. See all these scratchy marks? That's from my messed up plate. But I like that. It's like uh, distressing it, you know, and you don't have to distress it. And, oh, wow. All right. That, that is very good. Okay. I do have this in my Etsy store if anybody wants some, because you're going to want to make like a million of them. Even just one leaf with a little word on a tag, on a gift, you know? Crazy. All right, let's try. Wait a minute. Let's try. These are not as thick, but they're still. Let's try the, ooh, no, I'm on a foil thing. All right, here's another one. Let's try the ivy on it. I wonder, let's try it. I don't know which side would have more texture or, see, it looks to me like the veins would be more on here. So let's just, let's fill it up. Look at these little teeny ones. That's not perfect though. That's a nice one. Oh, I want to emboss them all. <laughs> See? Pressure. Oh, leave it in the vine. Oh, oh, Cassandra. Wait, I have another one. Oh, yes. Okay, good idea. Good thought. Mm, then this way, maybe. What do you think? That way or the other way? Mm. You hear the airplane landing? He can wait. I'm pressing flowers. I want that little one. Mm, now I don't know. This is going a kind of weird direction. Let me see what else I have here. Oh, well, we could do one more of this. I don't know. What do you think, guys? I like the idea. I have two more of these. I like the ivy idea, though. All right, let's just do it and see what happens. We can always try it again with more. That could be really cool. All right, good idea. Cassandra, you put in your um, your site, because Cassandra is a fellow uh, designer, and I know her from um, Creativation. I think I did it too many times, but who knows? Let's see. So put in your, um, Cassandra, put in your, your site if you want. Okay, ready? <gasps> oh, that got a little fat, but oh, those did come out. You know what? It's like Jack and the Beanstalk. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's like shiny. <gasps> that is just, I mean, the word that comes is stunning. It is. Wow. I want to do this all day. I have to go to the airport. Wait, one more trying this. Look at that, though. What a mess. See, you still could use the leaves, though. I wonder if they would dry like the, that other one that we added the... Where'd it go? The surfaces to? You know, if these dried out and got squished. All right, one more, and then... I'm just going to peel that whole thing off and put it on a paper towel. And one more piece of this stuff. Oh, wait a minute. It's everywhere. I don't know how this juice gets. It even goes underneath. Not on this one, but it has. I don't know how it gets under there. Holy, holy, holly on the stem. Yes, that would be pretty. Ooh. I don't have, well... I don't know. I really want to try this. I'm dying. And I think I want to put it so that the front goes that way. What do you think? Good, Cassandra. Yes, Cassie's parlor. All right. 
Uh, let's just see what happens. I mean, you guys can try it. I have to go to the airport. No, oh, I want to get my husband, but see, you know what? I'm just going to go like that because I know I can squish that part. All right, you ready? Wait, what side did I put down? Yeah, that's what I wanted. All right, that is with the front facing down. These would be pretty bookmarks, wouldn't they? I'm gonna squish it again. Oh, no. That might not have been good. You might need a sturdier leaf, but I don't know, could work. What do you think, good or bad? Oh, it's pulverized. <gasps> Ooh, that's kind of shadowy. Well, not horrible. I feel like I'm killing these things. Well, you know, it did come through, but it doesn't have the definition for sure as the thicker, but it's not bad at all. Let me clean it off. Ooh, it's like you polish and burnish it. All right, this is definitely, oh, that's like um, etched. It feels etched. So, you know, I would say out of all of these, I mean, if we just did a skinny stem, and I, I think I rolled that twice, so if I had done it one time, and that's just so cool. Mmm. All right, well, we had another good play with this, using the Big Shot as a flower press. So thank you for coming along and trying some more stuff with me. And I hope, again, that you're going to go out in your yard if it's not 100 degrees out and see what you can find and, um, you know, let us know what happens. Anna, that was really cool. And for everybody who posted their results, thank you. Um, and I will be back on Tuesday. I am headed to New York for the weekend. My poor mom, her internet is out and I have to go pester them. Internet and so we can't watch The Midwife, which is I'm going to have to find a DVD or something. Because that's like our thing. We go and watch The Midwife, at least five of them. So <laughs> we're going to have to get some DVDs going. And her phone is out. But luckily she has a cell phone. But it's like, it's been two weeks. And she hasn't had internet or phone. And we were on vacation, so it didn't matter. But come on, people. Anyway. All right, guys. Thanks so much. His, his, his plane is, is still probably coming to land. He hasn't texted me. He usually texts when he gets in. So anyway, thanks for coming, guys, and uh, give it a try. Post it in the fan club. If you're not a member, try uh, going to Eileen Hall fan club and answer the questions. Oh, and, <laughs> uh, you know, post what you've done in the group, okay? All right, guys, take it easy. Have a great weekend. All right, see you soon. Bye.